Before you're born, you're contained. And then when you step out into the world, architecture takes on the role of built skin, that you're actually building the container of humanity. Every building made now is really people's reality, that their control or the uh, separation of nature is one thing that is really important to emphasize. So we try to bring in the elements of nature, landscape, um, fresh air, and especially light. So when people are contained within a building, trying to find the quality, uh, either the relation to or protection from the sun is something that we really want to build into our projects. We think it's wonderful that there's an award related to daylight. That's really special. A friend of ours who is a poet once said to us, well, your material is light, isn't it? And I still remember that sentence because we had never really said that to ourselves. And then we started to really think about that, about uh, the materials of architecture, that it's light, it's fresh air, it's wind, it's, it's moonlight, it's uh, sunlight. It was a reminder that light is our material. And in a way, this award reminds us again that light is one of the key materials of architecture. What's amazing about natural light is that it's so varying across the world. It's like that music dance, it's like a free music that people have, and it really affects you emotionally. In Ireland, the light, you could say, is soft. We get beautiful, clear days, but it doesn't have the same intensity as Milan, for instance, where the light penetrates nine meters below the ground. And in uh, Lima, what we found extraordinary is we were always worried about the, about the heat gain. So the, the building cascades towards the north to protect from the sun. So when you're in that building, you don't see the sky, but it's really bright. And that's a really strange experience. And it's, it's beautiful because the, the surface of the building is reflecting the light. And I suppose that's also the thing we talk about a lot is how do you draw the light in along a surface? Because sometimes when you make a big glass atrium and it's, everything's bright and airy and open, the light doesn't travel in the same way as when you take it along a surface and bring it with you. In terms of the way we work, we're, we're trying to think spatially. What should this place feel like? Should it feel heavy? Should it feel light? Should it be... Uh, very open, does it need to be more episodic and contained or does it need to be labyrinthine? Light is kind of amazing because you learn each time. We really describe architecture as physics of space or the physics of culture, that what we try to do is to capture the light, capture the environmental conditions of location, but also that people enjoy that, that when you stand in a certain place that you can open a window or that you're in shade. And when you're standing in Lima in a place, you are aware of the city of Lima, of the Pacific Ocean and of the Andes in the distance. And in Kingston upon Thames, uh, near the Thames in, in uh, London, that you are aware that you are part of that culture. So it's, it's a cultural uh, relationship it's a, a light relationship to do with the angle of the sun. It's one of the, the aspects that we look at very deeply. Before we had actually won the competition, we brought um, two or three of the client members to Milan to see the project. And we were in the space nine meters below ground. And there was one person in particular, and he kept saying, how did you get the light to come down here? How did you do it? How did you get it to come down here? You know, it was just fantastic. When light becomes something you're aware of, it's a gift. And it's lovely to have an excuse to enjoy it. I mean, we're, we're biological beings and we need light. And that's, that's it, really, for our spirits, for our souls, for our bodies. Light is an extraordinary energy. It's not just a, a visual delight. It actually is a form of energy. And as we move into the future in a time of sustainability, 
capturing light is not just good for your eyes and for yourself and whatever, but it's also a form of energy. For us to receive this award is absolutely fantastic. We are really honored 